Farnborough has a long and illustrious history of airshow firsts, from the appearance of the world's first jet airliner, the de Havilland Comet, in 1949, to the supersonic Concorde in 1970 and the 787 in 2010. Never before, however, has it played host to a passenger-carrying spaceship. That changes this year when Virgin Galactic, the world's first space line, will display a specially built full-scale replica of its Spaceship 2 suborbital transport. Things are really going well right now in terms of the development program, and we should be able to fire the rocket motor inside the spaceship for our first powered flight by the end of this year. We're in a development program, we're test flying, and things can happen, but uh, uh, we've had a really great batch of uh, good progress over the last few months, and if we keep that up, then we're, we're on target to go into commercial operations by the end of 2013. Virgin Galactic isn't the only company with ambitions to take fair-paying passengers above the 100-kilometer high von Karman line that marks the theoretical boundary of the atmosphere with space, but it is likely to be the first to get there. After a series of modifications, glide tests of the Spaceship 2 have resumed at the desert headquarters of spaceship developer Scaled Composites in Mojave, California. I've always been a big believer that um, this business would eventually evolve into something where uh, the tourism side would be just one component of an overall portfolio of businesses. So we've been very encouraged by our contracts that we've signed now with NASA and various other educational and science customers. And I think that's a great sign that this is more than purely a, a tourism vehicle, but something that can have a lot of uh, sort of scientific benefit as well. The plan is to demonstrate a complete flight to suborbit by first dropping Spaceship 2 from the White Knight 2 mothership, which carries the smaller six-passenger craft to its launch altitude of around 50,000 feet. Seconds after release, a switch fires the rocket, which accelerates the Spaceship 2 to Mach 3.6 for a vertical climb to around 328,000 feet when, after some 55 to 60 seconds, the engine cuts out. Carried on by momentum, the spacecraft will continue to climb to an apogee of over 360,000 feet, where passengers will experience almost five minutes of weightlessness. I think we'd be doing pretty well if we can just get the service started out of our home base in uh, Spaceport America in New Mexico. We aspire to be able to um, operate abroad uh, someday. That's pending approval by U.S. governmental authorities. But Abu Dhabi would be the, the sort of the next one. And then uh, stay tuned. I think we'll be able to uh, make some announcements later on this week about other things that we may be doing in the future. More than 550 passengers, each paying $200,000, have booked tickets for commercial flights that could start by the end of 2013. Virgin founder Richard Branson, and possibly some of his star-studded passengers, will provide an update on the program at the airshow.